Lady Lades Off, Fight Connect TV, proudly sponsored by ESBC Boxing Game and in association with Empire Fight Store, I'm delighted to be joined by world-renowned and respected referee, Mark Goddard. How are we? I'm good, thank you. Very good. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, good, good, good launch. You know, I've been speaking to the guys for a while. I uh, came down to their last, they had an event when, when they were announced in the Channel 4. I've kept in touch with them. Obviously, from uh, working with them from an official's perspective, making sure that when they come over um, in association with the uh, English Mixed Martial Arts Association, getting involved with the guys, and it's something they're very open to, so I'm excited about that. Let's talk about, I mean, because obviously uh, the MMA fans will know you from obviously your, your referee and they'll know from your own mis mixed martial arts background, your jiu-jitsu. Um, but let's talk about kind of your inclusion or your, your um, input in kind of the safety of MMA over here and what you're hoping to achieve with, with everything that you're doing. Well, obviously, yeah, first and foremost, since day dot, that, that's what it's about for me. It's about standards and safety. And then obviously my inclusion, my work with the IMAF, the International Federation, uh, a couple of years ago, I gave in to them. I didn't want to do it. They were saying about setting up because it went to a home countries thing, Scotland, England, Ireland, Wales. They need their own associations. So I kick-started the English Mixed Martial Arts Association along with the other um, uh, founding members, got them all together. And, it, and it's grown since then exponentially in actual fact. Um, you know, the, our news channels are pretty good right now, letting people know what we're up to. Uh, we had some pretty major um, um, a partnership with the Shadow Sanctioning with the UFC. We've got an affiliate MMA program for uh, regional shows as well because it's about inclusion and education. We're not there trying to run, up, run away at the top. The development of the sport at an amateur level and the safeguarding of the sport, making sure there's minimum standards for medical care, for officials, uh, uh, athletes, training with the gyms that come from, the whole package. It's a massive thing to do. It's a long road. We've already been with Sport England. That was other news we you, we've had. We've had face-to-face sit-down talks with these people. And now, hopefully, we're going to uh, mirror the same thing when the PFL come to the UK. They're going to be working with us um, in a cooperation to get us up to a full sanctioning capability. And that's first and foremost where my interest is but that was a long answer <laughs> no it was a brilliant answer because obviously it, it, Garrett touched on it with what he had mentioned with you know um, how far along are we to get an MMA into the Olympics and getting it to be this kind of globally recognised and, and respect sport in the sense of an Olympic sport yeah I mean for, for the Olympic inclusion that's the work of the IMAP that's the International Federation of which the English MMA Association is part of there's over uh, I think there's 136 member countries now and that's the vision of the international body, to get MMA as a standalone Olympic discipline. Um, I remember years and years ago when, when they first started talking about that, even I was a bit like, I'm not sure. But when you saw, when you, when you see what IMAF have done globally, when you see the names that have come through, because it's all about progression and pathway and making sure the sport is uniform, that it's contested under the same rules, make sure the athletes get the, the, the safety and guidance, club membership, um, uh, training, accreditation. The, the, you know, it's a massive thing to try and get the sport together. But from an amateur discipline, as, as Kayla touched upon, there's no higher accolade in amateur sport than getting to represent your country at an Olympic level. And final question before I let you go. You've been very generous with your time. Um, but what, what do you think that fans can expect from the PFL? Because it is a little bit of a different format to what they've been used to. So I think a lot of people are excited. But how do you think it will go down over here? Yeah, I think, it's, I think it's exciting. You know, obviously, first and foremost, as an MMA fan, as an MMA purist, you know, having major promotions turn to the UK, turn to Europe and beyond, obviously, you know, that's only good for the sport. It's good for the fighters, it's good for the recognition. And then obviously it's a major deal when they've had the, uh, you know, the terrestrial TV deal with Channel 4, live time as well. When they come and do the two shows, one in Cardiff, one in London, having that on mainstream terrestrial TV at our time, it's a massive deal. And you can hear the fighters talk about them as well. So I'm excited and looking forward to see what they do. Thank you very much. Mark Goddard for Fight Connect TV. Thank you, Mark. Cheers.